Coming to you from the floor of the CME Group, I'm Eric Wolfman Wilkinson. It's Thursday, December 8th. Let's get in the zone, cash money zone. Take that. All right, Mario Draghi just sent the markets in a tizzy today. It's doubt. S&P were both up in positive territory early this morning when Mario Draghi started talking. I can't go over all the comments, but basically all in all, he's starting to realize that the Eurozone is in a terrible state of repair and they've got to do something. They're all sitting there at the G20 summit. Nobody's coming up with anybody, anything. Everybody's pointing fingers that way. They don't want to know. Nobody wants to take any uh, resolution to any situation, but this is starting to become dire. It's at the end of the week when everybody said that we really needed to come up with something. It's Thursday. It doesn't look like anybody's making any consolidations or anything. Uh, they're not coming up with anything that's going to make anything good, better over there. Take that. All right. On to my, uh, my levels here, I got the S&Ps trading down to 144. Looks like that's going to be the next area of uh, support. We kind of tested down to around 147 was the first stop. We kind of popped up against that. We were trading around one, uh, 1250. Uh, looks like if we get through that 1244 area, we could easily see the 1220 area I've been talking about. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to see this 1310, but if we hit that uh, 1220 today, I think that's going to really provide really good support. Come back up here. It's going to make the charts look really good. All right, take that. All right, now the rumor is going around somebody's been buying up $45 billion worth of five year uh, note futures. All right, this is basically causing a lot of support and even all the way down the curve to the 30 year. 30 year has been busted up there, it's bumping up against the uh, 142.01 area. That's my first resistance area. We came up and saw that about two or three times today. Now it's busted through that. We're going to be looking at uh, 142.14 is my next resistance area for that. If we get through that, it's again going to go up to about 143 handle that I've been talking about for some time. That means we're getting below and the 10-year uh, is going to be going below that 2% area we keep talking about. That is going to be the huge uh, make or break. If we go uh, below 2%, we're probably going to sit there for quite some time, especially if nothing's going on in Europe. We're going to probably start seeing their yields start to rise. Flight to quality is going to be bringing money into the 10-year, the 30-year, and if somebody keeps buying four to $5 billion worth of five years, that's going to just keep bringing that curve up, all right? Take that, all right? That's about all I got for today. It's been a really quiet week other than rumor control. The rumor mill seems to really start spinning out of control when we don't have any economic indicators to really level this thing out. So everybody's looking to Europe for a little bit of um, leadership, which we're not getting at all. So, you know, here it is. We're just looking at rumors. Buy the rumor, sell the fact. That's about all I got for you today. If you can't take that, take it easy.